Hey lovelies, it's Nicole M here. If this is your first time seeing any of my videos, please subscribe and hit the like button. So today we're gonna figure out how to make a short dress work for work. Get that? Work in the corporate world, you probably have a dress code and with this dress, it is actually a little bit short, not too short for somebody with my height, but then it is considered short in most corporate environments and it has to be four fingers horizontal and vertical above your knee so here i am illustrating how inappropriate this dress is so wait for it tip number one to get it looking appropriate throw in stockings hey that's the simplest way to actually get it done and to look classy put together and ready to face your clients if you work with clients or be and or be comfortable during the day and it smooths out and evens out your skin that's why i love stockings so much i can never wear a dress at work without putting on stockings i usually choose black but then if you feel comfortable you can actually choose ones that are actually closer to your skin tone the second tip i have for you guys is putting on a sleeveless coat yes especially when it's summer or if it's springtime and make sure that the sleeveless coat is actually longer than the short dress that you're wearing underneath and i wore this with the stockings and i'm going to show you when i take off the stockings how it actually looks so you can bend over and feel comfortable and run into hr without being nervous to polish this look up, I drew on a slim waist belt to bring my figure into the picture so I can look sexy, feminine. That's if you like looking sexy. But you can actually rock this outfit without throwing on the waist belt. But then I feel like throwing on a waist belt brings the outfit together and just pulls everything together and gives you that polished like you, you tried but actually did not try and you just look so good, baby. So I'm going to show you a further illustration of the outfit with the waist belt on. I love it because of that little gold detail that it has. It has that well classy vibe, corporate feel and you're not breaking any dress codes here. You're not showing any skin yet. She still looks sexy. I love it and you should love it too. <laughs> JK. Here I am ditching the stockings. I'm just showing you how it looks like without the stockings that you can actually wear it without stockings if you're not a stockings person because I know for some people stockings could be really uncomfortable or they could rip on your way to work and this is what it looks like. It also looks appropriate because of the trench coat that you're wearing and it's actually longer than your dress so it's just covering everything up while showing a little on the front. I'm gonna take off the waist belt to illustrate how the outfit looks like with that waist belt. I do know that waist belts are a little bit uncomfortable, especially if you have a desk job. Sitting all day and that thing tucked around your waist is a nightmare. So this look is for those of you ladies that value comfortability over pain. <laughs> Who values pain over comfortability? But then yes, beauty is pain, but then I'd also prefer this, especially in harder days where my body is free, I'm able to think and I'm able to work hard. This is another look. It actually looks great like this. I can actually wear it like this. I don't know, I'm just going to decide. I suggest that you get a sleeveless coat, especially if you have shorter dresses in your wardrobe and you want to make use of them by wearing them at work and not buy a lot of work clothes and just cut that gap between casual clothes and work clothes. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when I actually tie the sleeveless coat up. I'm buttoning it up, but then if yours doesn't have any button, you can actually use the waist belt on top of your sleeveless coat and look at it. It's another outfit. This is actually another outfit for another day. Yes. Sleeveless coat is an investment actually. Looking at this look, it actually looks nice. I've actually worn it without anything underneath. I just put on a turtleneck. So here I am. I'm going to show you another way for putting trousers underneath. And these are my white copper trousers. If you watch my video on how to tuck and tie your t-shirt, you'd actually see them. They're lovely and they're gorgeous. So here I am. I'm wearing the dress as a top with my white trousers. And it looks amazing. Just imagine this look with pointy nose heels my black pointy nose heels 
so corporate and such a corporate body look at it it's so lovely and make sure that you get pants that are your perfect fit do invest in a tailor ladies or make sure that you're able to shop for your size and your body Yes, of course, knowing me and my waist belts, I'm going to draw a waist belt in this outfit to show you another way that you can actually spice up this boring outfit because this could look boring, especially on a Monday. I don't suggest this outfit. But then if you're going to wear it on a Monday, throw something funky like a waist belt on to add a little bit of detail so you can be so fashion forward. Corporate Bobby, I'm telling you, hey. <laughs> So this is what it looks like with the belt on. I'm just talking and, you know, putting it in certain areas, manipulating the dress into my desired shape. So it looks, you know, I don't think you know. Yes, yeah, so it looks put together, stylish. Be the translator and just do it. So I'm going to take off the waist belt and showing you how it looks like with it tucked in a little bit and your trousers and it still looks good it still looks great it looks a little bit corporate casual i suggest this look for your friday so you have that dress on so but also put on help to look a little bit classy so the other tip that i have for you guys is to put on leggings look at how long they are i love these leggings very comfortable also nice so that i can wear them under something and they look great underneath the tunic dress and that's suggested for you guys especially if you hate showing skin and you don't want to wear stockings you can put on leggings and still look stylish not breaking any dress code being me i'm gonna draw on a waist belt on it's just me illustrating more ways for you to be able to manipulate your outfit into more outfits we are minimizing cost here we are gonna become the fashion economist of the world so here i am Putting on the waist belt, my fabulous little waist belt. It has been there for me. So this is how it looks like with the leggings on. It looks well put together, especially if you're meeting clients. You have that domination feel about you and it's just so beautiful. It's so classy, it's so elegant and also sexy too. Sexy doesn't hurt ladies and I'm just going to show you how it looks like with the leggings. And this is very comfortable i tell you it's very nice and you are gonna be okay throughout the day here i'm showing it to you and the last tip that i'm gonna show you guys it's, and it's the most crucial one is to wear little kitchen health this could be kitchen health for somebody like me i actually like longer health than this this is a very cute and classy and so pretty Yes, wear shorter heels so that you don't look longer and it doesn't make your leg too long, making your dress too short and just bringing a lot of unwanted attention from HR to you. So